Hey guys, today I want to show you my latest 3D printed puzzle, it's called the Dharma Ring. Now the name is from the Dharma Initiative in the TV series Lost because this kind of looks like the logo of the Dharma Initiative. So this is what it looks like. It's a ring with a lot of moving parts. So here's how it turns, there's these uh, little edge turns right there. Let's turn them all, kind of looks good. And um, it spins quite well as well. And then there's this uh, slice turn right there. So we've got the whole two parts turning one over the other. You can see it on the inside as well. And the last type of move that you can get are slice moves. And they are right here. And you can also split up the slices like that. And just uh, turn them individually. So this puzzle is quite uh, <laughs> quite a complete puzzle. There's many ways of turning it and uh, every single cut that you see is functional so that's pretty cool. I, I had a lot of fun uh, making that because uh, it's, it's something I've been wanting to try for years. I wanted to try something where where you had a ring and not just a core. Like the core here is technically the center and the center is just not uh, a puzzle, it's just empty, it's just void. And um, I actually found quite an interesting solution to the, the problem of, you know, uh, creating this without rails. And um, I wanted to do something that was adjustable. So actually, let's take this, uh, this MF8 box and I'm just going to show you how I did that. Here there's uh, this sort of uh, track system with holes in there. There are four holes over the whole track system. and here you just put a screw in each and essentially since you have that screw that's tightened like that this upper section is actually going to move and slide around the screw and since there are four screws it's, it's actually quite stable and it works just like the regular screws on a on a 3x3 three three. except here instead of creating rotation you actually get a sliding motion under the screw so it's quite it was quite interesting to design which is also one of the the aspects that I, that I like about this puzzle um, I'm not gonna scramble this whole thing I'm just gonna show you a, a pretty cool uh, set of patterns let's just do like a half turn here then a half turn everywhere in the center as you can see since it's a, a two-layered puzzle here you get this uh, this um, you know uh, when you do like a 180, you still have the same colors. It's the same thing that you would find on a 4x4, or on a 2x2 for that matter, which is you know similar to that in in concept. And uh, once you've done that, you can just turn it again in the middle. Whoa, what's going on? I think I got a part locked up in there. Oh, nope, spins. Probably a screw in there that went kind of loose or uh, or popped off or something. I don't know, but um. In the meantime, you can do this and get that cool pattern I was talking about where you have uh, these uh, lines, uh, this sort of checkerboard, kind of, I guess. It's, um, yeah, it is kind of like a checkerboard. Now, there's something that's really cool that I didn't mention about this puzzle, and it's about the core. Since the core is so big, these parts right there, I'm not going to open this, uh, these parts right there, they're all actually one part. It's fused together. It's just one huge part that is uh, going all the way around the puzzle where you've got rails in there and you've got these um, these uh, axes that turn so you've also got uh, a mechanism going around that edge and into that center. This whole thing has a giant center uh, in here that consists of all these parts and on the other side you have the same piece. So it's actually quite interesting uh, conceptually because it's a really complex puzzle on the inside. So let's Oh, that's the problem. There was actually a, a part that was uh, locked inside the puzzle and I didn't notice that one. It wasn't a screw, it was just a part. So I probably messed up that little part right there. I don't know if you can see it, but I have replacements, so that's fine. It doesn't really matter. So let's do the full checkerboard. This is what it looks like. What's cool is the part that I broke is actually hidden, so you can't see it. I guess that's a, that's a way to film. Um, anyways, this is the Dharma Ring. So I hope you guys like this video, I really had fun making that. It's uh, it's definitely a, a design that's not like my other ones, and that's something I really like about it. So um, I hope you like it as much as I do, and I hope I will see you guys in the next video.